Apparently I'm just working my way through the Kardashian-Jenner family. Are we okay with it? Yes. I feel like I owe a lot to Kim Kardashian. No one knew what the word Armenian meant until she became famous, so this is for you. Kim Kardashian's diet varies depending on what you read and what year it was. Right now, 2020, 2021, it's mostly plant-based, mostly vegan, plant-based. We're not doing vegan fully today, but we are committing to the mostly plant-based thing. She also had, which I'm now going to call the celebrity trifecta because it has come up so much, eggs and avocado for breakfast, tortilla chips, and does ice cream. This is the trifecta. If you've seen my Kate Hudson video, if you've seen my Kendall Jenner video, these things come up a lot. I avoided them at all costs in this video, so you're welcome. I'm not eating tortilla chips even though I really want to. I am also skipping the ice cream. Kim Kardashian says that ideally she avoids sugar, so. They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. We're gonna do that. For breakfast, Kim eats, according to the article that I looked at, Kim likes to eat blueberry pancakes, which 100% down. They're not just any pancakes, they are oat pancakes. There's no recipe online, so I am going to make my oat pancakes, throw some blueberries in them. It is quite late, so we're gonna do that now. Wow, this noise. <sighs> Breakfast. It is already 22 degrees and I am dying. <laughs> Oatmeal pancakes with blueberries. The ones you saw in the shot were not mine because these look kind of like alien eyes attached to pancakes. For drink, one of these snacks that was not chips and salsa or chips and guacamole or tortilla chips in some other form was green juice. Here we have green juice. It's orange, kale, spinach, pineapple. It's just sour. <laughs> I feel, I feel like putting fruit in the pancake is always a mistake because it just never cooks properly around the fruit. It just kind of tastes like batter. Now the pancakes themselves are really good. I like to think of these oat pancakes as oatmeal with an egg. That's really weird. Lunch, if we can call this lunch. Kim posted a picture of this lunch thing. Stuff. I don't really know how to describe this. It's a sweet potato hash. And then she had microgreens on top, which I could not for the life of me find. So these are broccoli sprouts, broccoli sprouts, and then avocado. Would I consider this a full meal? No. It's okay. It's a, little, it's a little boring. This is not as boring a lunch as Kendall's lunch. So this might not be a good time to mention that I'm not a huge fan of sprouts. This is good. Am I gonna be full after this? I don't know, we'll see. spoken out loud in a second. <laughs> we are at the last meal of the day. I have also changed because I don't know. I don't like wearing a dress all day. Kim's sister, Courtney, has started a website called Poosh, which I'm going to say with a straight face. Kim's sister, Courtney, has started a company slash website called Poosh, which is, I think, a play really on uh, Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop. Really seems very similar. One of the things that's on there is recipes. One of those recipes is Kim Kardashian's dinner tacos, which, yes, let's do it. Plant-based. So she uses Beyond Meat. Beyond Meat, if you've never heard of it, or the Impossible Burger, things like that, are beef substitutes that are plant-based and vegan. Pretty cool. The recipe also includes a bunch of seasonings for that, which I tried. It's got some cheese on it. This is the Violife cheese. The other thing she mentions is a certain type of tortilla. The main thing was that it's not corn. So I'm going to try one of these. They're made of almonds, I believe. Here's the other reason I'm only eating one of these. Frozen, completely stuck together. Like it took me 10 minutes to get one off and I still kind of ripped it. The tortilla has like a weird smell to it as well. The tortilla is good. It kind of just tastes like almond shells, like almond skin. The Beyond Meat is wild. That is delicious. Kim Kardashian's diet. Let's talk about it. I feel like when you spend so much time in the public eye, it is, and I've said this before, it is near impossible to really express how it is that you eat every day in the span of one interview. Closing thoughts. I wish I had a chef. I wish I had a nutritionist slash personal trainer who would come up with things like this for me. But at the same time, very doable. Lunch was a little small. I mean, plant-based is great. Awesome. This is great. If you like this series, this celebrity eats. I think it's fascinating. Comment who I should eat like next. My friend said Oprah. I, mean, I don't know what Oprah eats, but I feel like I need a garden and I don't have one. Let me know.